What is Mira Submarinian's purpose for including the songbird section? In this lesson, you will learn how to determine the author's purpose for including a section by analyzing word choice. Let's review. We've already read the text, The World's Fastest Animal Takes New York by Mira Submarinian. It's a nonfiction article in which the author describes how the peregrine falcon almost became extinct but with the help of scientists, it is now flourishing in New York City. In the article, the author includes a section about songbirds and how they are being killed. Good readers know that an author writes for multiple reasons, and the author includes specific sections and details to help make his or her point. Authors use specific words or rhetoric to get their message across to the reader. We are going to reread the text closely, asking ourselves, what is the author trying to tell me in this section? In order to do that, we are going to follow three steps. One, identify key words and phrases the author uses in this section. Step two, compare claims made in this section with those made in other sections of the text. Step three, ask, why did the author include this section? Let's begin with step one. Step one asks us to identify keywords and phrases that the, the author uses in this section. So let's zoom in on the songbird section. Here in this paragraph, some Iranian writes, but sometimes there's a mix up and the two territories overlap. This seems like it's a key phrase to me because it's talking about how the songbirds are dying because humans are in the songbirds territory. So I'm going to highlight this because it's a key phrase. Another key phrase is that the landscape architects are beginning to take placement of ornamental plants into consideration to minimize this deception. This is a key phrase because it shows how, if humans put in effort and care, we can save the songbirds' lives. Finally, I want to look at another section of the text where the design firms are creating glass that looks to birds as solid as stone. This phrase, solid as stone, is describing the glass and it allows the reader to further understand that with a little thought and innovation, the relationship between wildlife and humans can be positive. Now we want to move on to step two, where we are going to compare the claim in this section to that of the entire text by asking, what does this section add to the text as a whole? We really want to think about how this central idea relates to the rest of the article. The rest of the article focuses on the peregrine falcon and how because of humans' actions, the falcon was almost extinct. However, because of humans taking action now and working to protect the falcon, the peregrine falcon is now a flourishing species. Hmm, I have to think about how this section fits in with the rest of the text. Well, this section is all about the songbird and how human actions, in this case, have hurt the songbird. Maybe the author used this section on songbirds to show us how human actions usually have a negative impact on wildlife. She wanted us to realize that the peregrine falcon's experience was atypical, it wasn't the norm, and that unfortunately human actions have many times hurt wildlife. It seems like submarinian use the section on songbirds almost as a contrast to the peregrine falcon piece where humans had a positive impact on a bird species. Finally, we are going to ask, why did the author include this section? We want to think about why the author would include this section. What was their purpose? Hmm. I think the author wanted to use the songbird section in this article to really hit home the point that humans typically hurt or even kill wildlife through their actions. Through the author's discussion of how architects are designing buildings differently to decrease the number of bird deaths, the author also alludes to ways that humans can take action and resolve the situation. 
The author might want us to know that humans need to be more aware of how their choices affect wildlife and that there are ways we can take action and improve these situations. We think that the author's purpose for including this section is to stress to the reader that humans typically hurt or even kill wildlife with their actions and that if humans are more aware of their actions, they can make a positive difference and resolve the situation. In this lesson, we followed three steps to determine author's purpose. First, we identify keywords and phrases the author uses in the section. Second, we compared the claim made in this section to those made in the entire text. And third, we asked, why did the author include this section? In this lesson, you have learned how to determine the author's purpose for including a section by analyzing word choice.